this bag of grass jelly and uh, I was able to split it into like one, two, and almost a half of the large uh, mason jars. And there was one person who posted that they used for every cup of hot water, they used two tablespoons. So I originally made one cup and used two tablespoons and it started to congeal pretty quickly. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too firm. So I wound up putting a tiny little, tiny bit more. Um, and it was a little runnier, uh, which I liked, which I'll show you in a moment. So I just put like two cups of water. And so the bag that I got, it, it was quite hard, the powder. Uh, okay, uh, as you can see from my photos, but then I dumped it in a pot and I just kind of smashed down the brick and um, That's fine. Okay, it's all in powder, you know form now and it's not a brick, but So I have two cups and a bit so I'm gonna put Four tablespoons Just gonna stir it up to dissolve and it dissolves really really quickly like there's no uh, residual powder or anything like that so usually I like to let it cool a little bit or you could put one cup um, hot water um, four tablespoons of the grass jelly and then once it all dissolves then you put like a cup and a bit of cold water uh, so it cools down a lot quicker so anyway I think it's well dissolved so then I like to pour it in these little cups because they all have lids and then I just put it in the freeze uh, the fridge for a couple of hours to solidify and I'll show you the end product So in two and a bit cups, I was able to make uh, six little guys like this. So what I do is I let it cool first before I cap them. And when you, when you don't let it cool enough and you put it in the fridge, what happens is you get like a container like this. See, there's like all condensation. And here's like the grass jelly and if you let it cool a little bit more you have a little bit less condensation on the lid so this consistency as you will see is a little bit uh, less firm because I didn't use exactly one cup only for two tablespoons I used a tiny bit more so I'll just take like, as you can see, I'm just, I'm already spitting it around uh, because it's loose, see? So I'm just gonna flip it upside down. So it looks like this, see? And then if you want, you could take a knife and kind of cut it into smaller pieces. So if you want it firmer than this, then just use a cup for every two tablespoons. If you like it a little looser, but still firm, then I used a tiny bit more than a cup. And I need my own ginger syrup, or you could do a simple syrup. Here's my ginger syrup. Or you could just use a simple syrup, one to one ratio. And I just pour a tiny bit of the ginger. And 
and give it a taste. Tastes really good. I think simple syrup will be equally good, but I like ginger, so it tastes really authentic. I couldn't be more pleased because a can at the Asian grocery store runs like three, four dollars. And um, and I'm not sure, maybe these four. Yeah, these four might amount to one jar. And I already ate one. And five minutes ago, I ate another one. Anyway, for every cup, you get about three three of these containers. And um, it's about, what, two inches, two inches tall by two inches wide. And it, it really works wonderfully. Uh, this powder, it tastes great. And um, I'm so glad I got it because I really love eating grass jelly. And this is delicious. So when these cool down... I just cap it, put it in the fridge a couple of hours, and then bam, this is what you get.